I go to YouTube, I'm Max, and today I want to do something I have not done yet, and that's opening a 2003 Dark Magician tin. I'm not quite sure if I opened any tins um, from 2003 yet. Uh, if I did, it must have been a Gifrey tin, and you can see this one has kind of, yeah, damaged outer wrapping, so um, that's my candidate for opening today. Because, yeah, selling it, yeah, is an option, but most people want to have tins in, uh, yeah, the best possible condition they can get. So um, this one is something not many people would desire, I guess, to put in um, their shelf just to look good. But because I tend to open stuff here and there, <laughs> um, we can, of course, do that. And without the wrapping, look how nice this uh, artwork for the tin looks. I'm gonna take my time because um, that's not something I'm doing on a regular basis. So the contents of this are the promo card of course and uh, one each of LOB, MRD, MRL, PSV and LON. Of course, the first thing to watch out for is the promo card, um, and they tend to be damaged on the back, but maybe I'm lucky, and it's okay for this one. Let's check it out. Hmm. I mean, I have seen worse, definitely. But you can see there are some scratches here and there, but man, that's a nice, nice looking secret rare. That's kind of a good start. Um, of course it's not perfect, but um, I don't think I own this card yet. Now I do. And this is going to go straight into my promo and uh, other nice cards binder that are not sorted by set, because Making a whole binder for collector tin promos would be a little over the top. And uh, yeah. I'm closing my eyes. We're gonna shuffle up the packs just a little. Whoops. Ah, it's not that easy with closed eyes. Ah, let's go like this. Okay, that's LON first. Oh, LOB coming in uh, second place. Let's see. And of course, these are 2003 packs. And I would love to see one holo at the very least, because it's roughly one in four packs. We have five packs, so getting one would be about the ratio you can expect. Two would be better, of course. Um, but if there's one that's a nice one, I'm already kind of happy, because going 0 for 5 from these is kind of a pain. Blind Destruction. And our first chance to see a holo card is rejected. Gem breeding machine. The tokens for the uh, gems look kind of nice, actually. I just have one. Wouldn't mind having more. Bonheimer. I loved this card back in the day. <laughs> because its name is just funny. Um, and uh, I think he wanders the seas and sucks life out of... Uh, this monster wanders the seas, sucking dry any creature it may encounter. Yes. <laughs> Bonheimer. <laughs> the unfriendly Amazon and swordsman of Landstar for the Joey enthusiasts. Second pack. And it's already LOB time. Oh, no, I destroyed the pack. Mm. And even though I opened plenty of LOB in the last months, um, it was mainly Portuguese LOB, so um, this is a nice change up for me. And this is, of course, one of the sets with the possibly best ultra rares or super rares you can see out of these tins. The secrets are not that great, but um, whatever. Getting one would be okay as well. We have, oh, okay, that's, oh, ah, I uh, pulled the potential holo card 
back here. And it's not a holo card, it's Giant Soldier of Stone. And there's Masaki. Because the 1100 1100 stat line is uh, not found on any holo card or on any rare. So I figured um, I messed up. We got two short prints Mountain and Mystical Moon, which is okay. But the holo count is still setting, sitting at zero. This MRL, uh, MRD pack was managed to be opened nicely. <laughs> Tremendous Fire, which is a big upgrade from, from Sparks we saw earlier, even though it burns you as well. We got an end. Punished Eagle, Armored Zombie from Bones, and oh, Magician of Faith. Um, aside from the holo cards, this is one of the better rares you can see from MRD. But of course, mm, still feels a little, little meh. Just lots of comments and three rares yet. PSV, come on, give me a thousand eyes. <laughs> Watch me pull a chain destruction or <laughs> something like that and be. Uh, it's kind of nice, but on the same uh, at the same time, it's not. Eye of Truth, the regulation of tribe. Many continuous traps in here. And, oh, the Shallow Grave. Oh, this is rough. Time seal. Banned for a long time. Magic Ruler. It's up to you now. Please. Electric Snake. Kind of a decent uh, side decking card in some formats. Minar. Jigen Bakudan. I think this is a short print, but I'm not 100% sure. Flash Assailant. And a spell card. Which is. Oh, nice! So, an ultra rare Axe of Despair. Um, as you can see, this is Magic Ruler, but it's still saying spell card. And this looks nice. And look how dark this is. Uh, the green. I like this quite much. And there you can see the hints of uh, the face that's there in the original artwork, I think. But uh, here it's almost like... Uh, we have to hide the face so it doesn't look that weird and of course it doesn't say that's an, uh, that it's an Archfiend card which it is actually because yeah screw archetypes <laughs> in Magic Ruler um, the concept of archetypes was not too prevalent back then so uh, they didn't have the Archfiend uh, comment on this or on some skull or other cards that belong to that archetype um, of course there are some more comments but uh, nothing worth mentioning. But X of Despair is nice, and I got a decently uh, conditioned promo card. So, yeah, I can be happy. And I shuffled the cards or the packs in the right order, so we had the nice finish with a non guaranteed ultra rare. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and of course, stay tuned for more Yu Gi Oh! based content like this. And see you next time on Random Old School Yu Gi Oh! Bye bye!